Not the face. It's me. There's the coloring. Episode 1, Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. Movie tickets. With entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Who's that for? Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? Hmm. And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the oh, blaze that's at just the random news. processing center, owned okay. by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire Who department has four? There's blood on it. The area and seek Is this something about the Batman universe I'm not familiar with? Of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio the dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. It's kind of hard to read on, when the news won't stop in the background. Maybe I'll just skim this. Oh, are they done? Gotham Random District. Stabbings are nope. The okay. For the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving. It is a little bit of a um, hard position weapon, for Bruce here because his friend Harvey Dent is an attorney, a really good County attorney. But condition. on the police side, Bruce is dishing out vigilante justice. Top. Patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum. Oh, I really wish I could read this more, but it's really hard when the news that won't stop in the background. Arkham Asylum. But all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the age of Does that ever stop? Can we turn this off? It's just random news, right? It's not even related. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Oh, there's no way I can read this now. Mayor Hill's Gotham beautiful yeah. takes we'll look today. at this later, okay? Because oh, hopefully we can look at it later. Yeah, what? <laughs> the news! The, new law the news will stop! In order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve oh, the city's there's the data drive. Buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight, spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. After the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime. In the newest edition. I can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. And when he Ooh. was presented with Sounds good for some detective work. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Gotham's chance for a safer future. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. <laughs> sure is nice being rich. <laughs> we don't need another hmm. gangster running the city. We need a crime fighting hero. What are you talking about? With over 200 successful convictions, District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He and he needs Batman's. We can make a dent in Gotham's hey, he's really using it. Starts with you. 
the dent in crime. <laughs> Nearly fell off a building for this? Analyze the drive. Really think these oh wow. Why am I even surprised anymore at this point? Let's find out what was so important. I'm sure he can do something about that. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Oh, wow. Fancy hologram. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Zero percent. In the meantime. I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. <laughs> That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs, but I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. All right, now we can look at stuff, right? Okay. Let's read the articles again, then, quickly. Oh my god, this is slow. Hurry up! Go up! The Dent pressures Mayor to decry vigilantes. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon Mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante actions sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at a City Hall press con. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilantism in Gotham, from the uptick of citizen-led shootings to the costumed superhero Batman. Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes in the state. Is that really him, though? Or is it me? <laughs> his groundbreaking Victims Assistance Program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at 26. Police Lieutenant Tapped to Lead Task Force Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Grogan appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press con earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon, so not yet a commissioner, insisted that we are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing en masse in our city. At present, they are unknown, but not unnoticed. We will find them. 
Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the USMC before joining the GCPD and has quickly risen through the ranks. He has frequently stated that Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Cool. Well, that's a little bit about the Commissioner Gordon for you. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. Replacement? The charitable arm of Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach, has announced funding for a new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly, prisoner escapes. But soon, that will no longer be the case because the Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital will, be, will offer a mixture of maximum security with modern mental health care. Hmm. Back to the Codex. Oh, we've got a lot here. So, that's Catwoman. Let's read the other stuff too, quickly. Thomas and Martha Wayne, my parents, physician and philanthropist, died in an alleyway. Of course, as everyone knows, Joe Chill. Wayne family butler. Mm hmm. Alfred. He's my butler, my confidant, and my most secret weapon in my arsenal. I don't want to accidentally go to Catwoman, so I'm gonna go out and go back in. Harvey Dent, a new friend and the best district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. Political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save the city. I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. Hmm. So not... How would you describe someone like that? Like, when it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's bad? <laughs> or would you describe them as being two-faced? Ha ha! Huh. Hamilton Hill. Corrupt mayor? Rotten to the core. James Gordon. Yeah, in the... Right, in the Arkham, the Rocksteady games. Barbara Gordon is the one that we talk to all the time via the comms, right? How did that end up happening? I'm not sure. Trustworthy, reliable source of info. But I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man. Vicky Vale. Reporter. Passion for the truth. Yeah. Might be a good resource for us, too. Falcone. The worst kind of gangster. One who tries to mingle with high society. Seems to have his hand in everything. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in its place. He's had a long time to... To get his hands deep into Gotham City, I guess. Gotham City? Population 10 million. The people who live here are survivors. Arkham Asylum. Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital. For now. Staff's methodology leaves much to be desired. When the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Oh, that's good, that's good. Alright, that was the last one. Catwoman! Thief for hire! Beyond that, I don't know much about her, not even who she's working for. I wish I did, because she's good at what she does. She caught me off guard during the break-in at the mayor's office. That was a mistake I won't let happen again. But I don't think she's a threat to be put down, yet. I need to find out more about her. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't <laughs> step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself. And not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. 
I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. He's right. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. No way. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Mm. He's like my dad. Park. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobblebot? Penguin? I didn't know me and Cobblepot were childhood buddies. Wow. Where are you, Oz? He didn't... I don't even know what he looked at. <laughs> He's not highlighting it at all. Oh, what was the other option? <coughs> yeah, you're rich, right? Pass on the change. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm not sure if that will ruin my reputation as Playboy, though. Well, they're not a conflict, right? Being a Playboy and being charitable. I feel like if you're gonna meet a criminal in a sketchy-looking park, though, you might want to dress down a little bit. And I know he's dressed down already, but not enough. Not nearly enough to not stick out. Running late. Great. Meet you by the statue. Well, there's the statue, but no Oz. There's a lot of homeless people here. Wait, what was over there?
okay? I've been feeling like the examinations of these objects are so useless. They don't even show you what he's looking at. It isn't what it used to be. Hobblepot Park. <laughs> I feel like this is a little bit lazy because they're obviously just adding in random quote quote points of interest, but there's not even anything interesting on the wall. <laughs> Wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <sighs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? I don't think... Okay. I don't think Bruce is publicly known to be a good fighter, right? So I'm not sure how much of my skills I should be showing yeah. off. Used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. See, that was a very trained way to deal with a gun. Ugh. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little uh there. Good as new. <laughs> Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now... I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Ugh. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And it'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. But we have to bear with him because of Harvey. Sorry, mate. 
This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. Wow. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Press con for the new hospital. Must be the one replacing Arkham Asylum. Over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <laughs> Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, <laughs> With a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? <laughs> Just say something stock. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Hey, she's here. <clears throat> Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Get right in there for that emotional appeal. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. No one's taking notes at this press con. What the heck? I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. Right here, please. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? That's a good question. I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. 
This time we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, 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 Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He uh -oh. came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. <laughs> Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Oh, that's what he's texting me about. Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? Don't say anything without learning the situation first. I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police I know. are inside the manor. Uh-oh.